Hello everybody, this is Grace Balfons with Crafting Gracefully, and today we are going to assemble August 2021 Hope Box Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, as you can see already, I've decorated the outside um, box with the items that they give you. They have this very pretty um, Blackberry Bliss ribbon, and all these are little punch outs. Um, that come in the kit. You don't have to decorate your box like this, but the idea behind this box is to um, have a box of hope to brighten someone's day or have it like a memory box to just put things in there that have um, brighten your day or something along those lines to give you hope if you're just down. Um, yeah, down. So we will open it up and I'll bring out the cards. So it's pretty easy, this part was pretty easy to put together. They, it just comes in a wrap, you'll glue it down. Wrap the um, ribbon around. I glued it at certain spots just so it wouldn't come off. Um, and then first I did the, the ribbon and then I put down the butterfly and dimensionals. And then I tucked around all these little delicate ones around the butterfly and then I put in um, the big banner as you can see I've has gotten a little crumpled from showing it off a little so but it'll be mine or I'll give it as a gift and I'm sure whoever gets it won't really mind that it's too too bad but I think I'm probably most likely gonna keep it because it's so pretty and I just love this box and yep, let me put that aside and these are the cards we'll be making with the coordinating envelopes these envelopes I I'm over the moon for those envelopes. They are just so cute. I love when Stampin' Up! decorates their envelopes. So fun. And then, so you make three cards, three each of the three designs, so nine cards total. Um, they're just going to give you a minute to take a look at those cards. Maybe the video will capture a good thumbnail for me. All right, give me a second. I'll let those, take a look at those while I get a few things ready. Okay. And of course I just literally had my paper pumpkin stamp. There it is. Okay. Got my block and we are using Blackberry Bliss for the color this month. I love this color, it's such a pretty purple like maroon almost almost like maroon and then here is the stamp set um it's got a little bit of a glare so we'll bring it um so always hope because you can never know what tomorrow will bring just a note of hope a big hope where there is there is faith where there is faith miracles happen and then they give you some fun background images a couple butterflies and flowers so and then we also, of course, get our dimensionals for our adhesive and um, the dots, glue dots, dimensionals, and these really fun shimmery self-adhesive sequins over here. We'll get that in there. Those are so fun. Okay. And then, of course, you get the envelopes just going through my box here envelopes and they give you extra for the stamping and you have the nice big beautiful butterfly cutout that will be on one of the card bases as well and then this was a Shelly kit so Shelly Gardner inspired um, again if you're not familiar too familiar with Stampin' Up! Shelly Gardner is the co-founder of Stampin' Up! so this was a global kit and it has different languages I'm just gonna pop out this hope one because that's the one that I am going to use right now and we'll keep the other ones off to the side. And then we will get our card bases and everything else that we need. Okay, so here is what we have. And we're just gonna go kind of in, kind of in order, I think. No, I need to find some stuff to do some stamping real quick. Um, so, nope, not that one, just sorry. A little scatterbrained today. So one more thing here. To, so we will need a pretty piece like that for stamping. We'll need this word 
hope and tomorrow those punch outs will go there the rest are german and french i believe so we'll just put those off to the side because i do not speak german well i speak a little bit of german not very well but i don't even think i can say i speak german well enough to say i speak german <laughs> if that makes sense anyway all right so we will use the circle two rectangles they give you extras as insurance in case you screw up sometimes it happens all right and then i'll get my little stampin mat here um, as we use to stamp so i'm just gonna do go from the largest to the smallest i think because i i don't know why because just because that's just the way we're gonna do it today and the pink is on top well i mean i guess you can do whatever whichever way if you want the green on top or the pink whichever you prefer and then we are going to ink up our stamp this one's going to take a little bit to quite a lot of surfaces to ink up this one And this is just going to go straight in the middle, push it down, hold it for a second to really let the ink absorb. Okay. All right. So tomorrow is a little fuzzy, but that's okay because we are actually going to be covering it up with this for that. And then the hope is going to cover up the hope up here so isn't that fun there we go but we'll do that in a minute but for now we will put that part to the side and we will clean off our stamp put it back and move on to the next one so our next stamped image is, or sentiment is just a note of hope and a quick reminder just to get them on so they don't um, your photopolymer if you want the longer ones not to kind of bend when you put them on because sometimes if you just lay them on your stamp pad or your acrylic block they get kind of bent just place it on your stamp pad and then it'll be laying flat should be laying flat and then just bring your block down with it and I just noticed I really need to clean my block so just a note of hope, and we'll put that off to the side. And we will clean that off. And we're going to go and grab the sayings, where there is, there is faith. Oop, whoopsies. So this is the idea behind, like, Biggie's... If you put them on yourself, sometimes they can, you see how it's kind of crooked like that? Sometimes with the longer ones that happens. So if you just lay it down and then put your block on it, it'll be pretty straight. And if you even want to get technical and line it up on the grid paper as well, that's always an option. Um, but I found that as long as I Have it on something flat it works out pretty good all right so we are going to ink up one side first where there is these are pretty small let me move this up just a little bit so you I know for sure you can see it and gotta focus a little <laughs> and where there is if you have trouble with the smaller sentiments um, just remember two sides to every sheet of paper take your time breathe and just go for it sometimes that's the best you can do um, pause and breathe though you will you will get it oh, we'll move that up just in case if you guys can't see that And there we go. 
those look pretty good. And we are done with the stamping for these cards, believe it or not. All right, so let me just quickly set these off to the side. Oh, I probably could have just kept it on the block. Oh, well, I've committed now, so there we go. Off to the side. And then let's hope that it was fake. We will clean all this up so we don't get ink anywhere. Anywhere it's not supposed to be. All right. So we're just going to start with my first card on the pile. And it's this one with the white card base and this one is going to have this nice fun cutout. Um, so we'll just gently peel, break it off. It should break off rather nice. Just be gentle, don't be too vigorous with it because it may break. All right, there we go. And we'll put that off to the side. So we have this beautiful cutout. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it over and we're just gonna put glue, the glue dots on the belly, on the butterfly, the flower. Um, and then we're just yep, gonna use our take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, I highly suggest that you get one. They are, for $10, they are worth it. Every little penny of it. Um, they kind of become like a third hand for me now, which you always need when crafting is always an extra hand, right? So we are going to, um, be just placing it around. I think if we can find some other, just wherever spots fit for this, um, there we go. I hope my head is not getting on there. I just bumped the camera. Sorry if it did. Got a close up of my roots. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to take the little guys off. It is a little time consuming. There we go. been a while since I've done my nails so I got them done or I shouldn't say I got them done I did them myself I didn't it's not paint it's like those lacquer strips um to put on I got them literally I it took me like maybe 20 minutes and they're dry right away obviously I think you don't want to go and like sit in a hot tub or do dishes right after you put them on or anything like that but um it was kind of fun I really like this color this pink color it is kind of my signature color. Well, I should say signature color, but one of my favorites. So we'll pick it up and place it down. So it's not going to be exactly in the, well, yeah, we'll just make sure it fits in. Um, every, every part of it gets on the card base, if that makes sense. Like, so the edges all are on. We'll press those down. Move those, make sure they're stuck down there. Okay, and then what we are going to do is pop these up on dimensionals. Um, we will have to cut, I believe, these ones. Let me just double check. Oh no, those fit. So just two of the big dimensionals on these. I'll probably just put four on here to be safe. Make sure it's fully attached. There we go. And then we... And first we'll put Hope down right in the middle and then we'll layer the other two and I'll get this down just so Hope just right in the middle here. There we go. And then there is Faith will be just like that. I kind of line it up with the P and then where there is I'll put over the H and the O. Where there is Hope there is 
faith. So I'll be like that. There we go. And then we are going to grab real quick a butterfly from the sheet of butterflies that you get. As you can see, I've used that many already. But this one will go on right here, so we will just add a glue dot to it. Um, if you don't like the glue dots, use just a little tad, tad bit of the glue. And there we go. We'll just push that there. And then this one has sparkles. We love the sequins. So these are self-adhesive sequins, and we are going to put seven of them on. So we have one. And just kind of sprinkle them around where you think that they'll look the best. three over here kind of close by each other oh whoopsies something got caught on me I just love these sequins they are so pretty I wish we actually had them in the annual catalog all right our first card is done yay all right and our next card we are going to make let me grab the supplies here real quick we will be using these three butterflies so we'll pop those out real quick and then we'll use this the white sheet and then finally the pink card base so we will fold our card base on the score line burnish it down with our bone folder okay so We'll put that off to the side because we don't need that quite yet. Um, move that white piece and then we're gonna pull out these banners. This is definitely one of those kits you'll want to just pull everything apart if you sit down to do it. Um, if you want to get them all done at once it does there's quite a bit of pulling that's involved. <laughs> All right, so with this white sheet that they give you, we'll put, we're, what I'm gonna do first right now is just kind of lay them down to see how I would like them. And then go from there. Okay, so this is kind of nice. I like that part. We'll yeah, give it some depth and dimension. And So what I'm going to do first is I am going to bring this guy in and this guy over just a smidgen, I think. No, that was too close. Just kind of however you want, because I do want them overlapping a little bit. Not too terribly much, but just, just a little bit there. I like the looks of that. Yep. Uh, ooh, that's troubling. That one there. Maybe. I don't know. All right. I think it's going to be what it is. So we'll pull these two up. Or if you want them all just side by side, that's completely fine as well. So we'll spin that over. I'll just use my seal to save us some time. And we're going to put him right there. Use the seal again. And this one is going to go like that. I know I just spent all that time kind of trying to be particular in here. And I'm just swishing it on. <laughs> okay. There we go. And this is exactly kind of the look. I wanted it a little bit over. I knew it would work out. If I think too hard about it, some days it just doesn't work too well. No. All right. And then this one just kind of goes like that. There. And then we will glue this straight down to the card front. You 
use your seal or your glue or your glue dots, whichever you have, and this will go right in the center. There we go. And then we're going to take our Just a Note of Hope and add some dimensionals to that. Um, three will secure it pretty well and make sure everything stays up how it supposed to be and then we're gonna place it right there down in that corner and then we're gonna add these fun butterflies around so we'll use our glue dots again again the take your pick tool is a very very useful tool <laughs> it helps get these little sheets off for the glue dot okay and our yellow one we're gonna put down here and we're gonna leave his little wing hanging over a little and then our green one we're gonna put off to this side as well and then our pink one is gonna go a little bit higher into the right of the sentiment right there and then we will add five of our sequins up on top and three ooh, these like to stick three to the bottom there we go and we have our second card done okay. and now our third card we will be using these butterflies the last of the punch outs these cutouts that we have already out and then the green card base and then or sorry the, like the Bermuda Bay-ish I believe is the color that that's supposed to be we will burnish down our card I feel like my paper is moving all over I gotta find a better way to secure this down <laughs> The things you think about while you're making videos. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is glue down this splattered piece into the center of our cardstock. And then we'll take dimensionals the back of our cutouts for tomorrow and hope. And that'll go right over the top of those. Okay. And then this gets glued down one in each corner. I think I'm gonna pop these guys up. Uh, yeah. So let's see, do they look good on there actually? Okay. Oh. Got a sticky hanging from the nail. There we go, we'll put those there, and then we'll add our bling, which this one will get, um, geez, one flung out at me. <laughs> one, let's see if I can get it off. Two, oh, there's some hair on there. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Three. Oops. Oops. And seven, there we go. 
And each time when you sprinkle, just sprinkle how you like. It doesn't have to be the exact um, way every single time. Because, for example, here is the card I made last time, or my one of my samples, and I just sprinkled it wherever it really wanted to go. I felt that's where it needed to be, and then this one is just a little bit different. So nobody knows what the original is supposed to look like. Um, all right, so let me show the ones that we just made on this video. And this is the August 2021 Paper Pumpkin Hope Box. Here we go. They went together pretty quick. If you have any questions about Paper Pumpkin, please feel free to email me, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have information up there on Paper Pumpkin, or you can send me a direct message. I have no problem answering questions. I have email craftinggracefully at gmail.com or crafting underscore gracefully dot stampin up dot net. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Happy crafting.